squalane. Fine, we're gonna talk about biosance, we're gonna talk about glow recipe, the ordinary, you name it, because a lot of these squalene products are better or worse than I anticipated when I first got my hands on them. This is a lineup of the best and the worst squalene products that I've ever used, and why some of these miss the mark, whereas others are just fantastic when it comes to skin. And we're gonna start off the worst. This is a squalane product and this is from Biosance. Biosance has a whole bunch of squalane things and they're really known for putting squalane in their products and they're a little bit more expensive but they're supposed to be fancy, right? They have a retinol serum, they blend other actives in there. This comes in as one of the worst squalane products I've ever tried and it's specifically because of what it does to my face. I love the idea of squalane and a phytoretinol serum. That sounds amazing! We love our retinol and squalane which yes we're going to talk about with The Ordinary in just a second. This my friend was was an expensive disaster. Let's start off with the fact that this legit makes my face red and burn and irritated. This is a little white cream and I understand that not everyone is going to have the same sensitivities as me, but there must be some sort of citrus in here that upsets my skin like no other. And yes, I understand this is a phytoretinol, but this is Bakuchiol. We love Bakuchiol. We've done an entire video on Hoochie Coochie Bakuchiol. However, when it comes to this product, it just doesn't deliver. It irritates the face, it makes the face red, it comes out as a cream but then it ends up very liquidy, and it just doesn't do what it says that it will on the package. I don't feel like the Bakuchiol is very strong, and I like that it has niacinamide in here, but I find that if I use a little too much of it, it does pill up. And again, not everyone is sensitive to citrus, I'm starting to realize that that's something that my skin doesn't always take the kindest to, but this product was an absolute utter failure. And when The Ordinary does have an actual retinol in squalling that exists, we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but it makes me wonder uh, why I wasted my money on this. This is not for me. <laughs> for someone who doesn't have reactive skin, for someone who really doesn't want to use a retinoid and only wants Bakuchiol, and for someone who just has money and is not sensitive, they might love this, but it was not for me. And if you're confused about what squalene is, we've done an entire video on the difference between squalene and squalene. And when I tell you I am squaleening away from this one, I cannot make that more clear. So speaking of the ordinary, I do not like this stuff. It's not as bad as this Biosense product, but this is just not it for me. The Squalene Cleanser from The Ordinary is probably great for someone who has dry skin. And when I originally tried this, it's like, it doesn't make my face burn or itch. Like, it's not detrimental. It's just not great. It's a basic cleanser. It removes the stuff off your face, but not extremely well. If you have like waterproof mascara or liquid lipstick, you might need to kind of work at it a little bit. And I just found that this was not all that for me. Now, granted, it is inexpensive. It is from The Ordinary. It's definitely a lot better than an irritating stripping cleanser out there that still doesn't remove, you know, your sunscreen or your eye makeup. But The Ordinary has always had this, and it's like their only cleanser, too. I'm like, can you not get more cleansers? Honestly, I, at this point, am more willing to try using The Ordinary's new shampoo as a cleanser than I am this as a cleanser. Again, if you have dry skin, you might love it, but this is just not for me. And a very close piggyback, we have Boots Ingredients. I think it's going to be very important and pertinent for me to compare these two, but Boots Ingredients also has a squalling cleanser that suspiciously has a very, very similar package and similar style to what The Ordinary is doing. And Boots also just launched some ingredients that are like encroaching on like the inky lists territory. Fascinating, if I do say so myself. The Boots Squalene Cleanser and Ordinary are kind of neck and neck right here, but I will be directly comparing and contrasting these in an upcoming video where I use half on one half and half on the other half of my face. But for now, just know that neither of them are really great comparing to what else is on the market. Now, this was also very, very sad. This is from Indeed Labs. I love Indeed Labs, and they have a lot of really great products, but this was one of their oils that just didn't do it for me. And it really goes to show that you could have one of the most amazing brands, but you can't always judge and you won't always love every single product from a brand just because it's under that umbrella. Hi, literally The Ordinary, and literally Biosance, which makes a comeback over here. But this from Indeed Labs just was not it. This is a very basic squalane oil, and this is pure squalane. This is about as basic as it gets, and honestly, it's not the best in my opinion. Now, if you are someone who is just looking for a straight up squalane oil, this is literally it. 
This is the best squalling you can get. But I find that straight up squalling, it doesn't penetrate as well as I need it to. It's not as elegant as I need it to. It doesn't play as well with other products as I need it to. And when I look at other squalling products, such as those that do have a retinoid or such as those that are in more of a moisturizer form, I tend to like them a lot better. So this one comes with a little asterisk. If you just want the plain of the plain, the most basic of the basic, like straight from the manufacturer, you got it here. However, sometimes just because it's 100% of that thing doesn't make it good. Like, hey, we all love a good vegan chocolate cake, right? What if you just had straight up vegan cacao? The bitter, powdered, straight up brown cacao. It's not that good until you put it in a cake or in a smoothie like I do for breakfast every morning. And that's kind of how I feel about this. Like, yes, this gives you exactly what you asked for, but it is not my favorite. And I don't know, it does kind of get a little bit pilly on me. It's not terrible. And I think it definitely depends on, you know, what you've got underneath it. But I just find it doesn't soak in enough. It leaves my skin. Bleh. I don't feel like it's actually penetrating or softening those outer layers of my epidermis, those little keratinocytes. Yeah, I love Indeed Labs. They didn't deceive us with this. It just wasn't my favorite. And you know, sadly, but surely, a close follow-up is from the Inky List. This is kind of that point where I don't hate these things. I just don't love them. And with the Inky List, the squalling is a little bit better. This is also 100% squalling, so very similar, like straight from the manufacturer. It's just as pure as you can get. But for some reason, this formula tends to soak in a little bit better for me. It tends to be a little bit less of that dry oiliness on the skin. Squalling, in my personal opinion, tends to be more of a dry oil in the way that it kind of has that touch and feel. It's not heavy the way you would normally think of something like olive oil. But the Inculus one absorbs a little bit better and it leaves you that dry touch oily feeling, whereas the Indeed Labs one, it's just not as cosmetically elegant. I don't know, this must have to do with the way that they are packaged or the way that they are manufactured manufactured or formulated or hydrogenated, because if you remember, squalane is really just squalene that walked down the lane to get hydrogenated. Do you remember our little shark analogy where the shark leans up against our oil glands? Do you remember that? If you don't remember that, you have to go take notes on that original video. But the inky list is out here saving us some money, doing basically what they said they would do and no more. So then let's jump to one of the products that actually does do more. This is from Biosance and this is the Squalane and Vitamin C Rose Oil. Now I wanted to love this. This is my second bottle. I gave this a hard try, but this wasn't my favorite thing in the entire world. And I feel like everyone else loves it. And they say it's like the best thing since the double cleanse. I don't know, I kind of disagree. Like it's not bad, it's just not phenomenal. And is it worth the money? Well, I purchased a second one, so like, I guess. I feel like this is one of those products that it works and it smells divine. It's very luxurious and if you're someone who's getting a gift or if you were to receive a gift, this would definitely be a nice one. But if you are someone who has more skin concerns or you care a little bit more about formulation and ingredients and less about the feel good components of skincare, this just wasn't my favorite product in the entire world and I get that other people love it and again it's definitely not bad it's definitely good but it's not like great Fair, great this has squalene oil and then the vitamin C is in the form of tetrahexadecal ascorbate which is also what a lot of more expensive vitamin C products use I think Sunday Riley uses this form of vitamin C as well I would recommend this over the Sunday Riley one any day this is great but it also has you know two fragrancing components in it that for someone who's more sensitive they might not like but again if you're someone who loves a sensory experience. If you're someone who wants to have fun with your skincare, like I could see this being on like, you know, Rapunzel's skincare counter. Like this is definitely a very Rapunzel-esque product. And technically you could even put it in your hair because Squalane is actually a really great, more of a dry oil. It doesn't weigh the hair down. So you could totally use this for that. Aren't you proud that I know who Rapunzel is? But yeah, all things said and done, it was not as magical as I feel a lot of other people on the internet think that it is. And when I compare it to other products, I especially am not as impressed. Now there is another Another squalene oil that I do like better. This one is from Pure AM. This is the Super Glow Dew, but this also comes with a caveat because these are pure squalene oil where this actually has other oils mixed into it. But I feel that this coats the skin much nicer. It nourishes and it does give you that super dew glow. Now this does have jojoba, which is probably why I like it a little bit better. But please keep in mind, this is not a jojoba oil video. This is a squalene video. And when it comes to squalene products, this one does come close. This has a little bit of bergamot oil, which I normally hate. I've actually been quite impressed with this one and I just feel like for an oily texture This actually gives me that dew. this actually locks in that shine the way I am expecting The other thing
thing about Pure AM is that they do test their products uh, in Germany with dermatologists. They were made for sensitive skin and they have like a whole bunch of certifications. Both Pure AM and the Biosans brand do this clean marketing and you know how I feel about that. But even despite those things, I'm a fan of this one and I kind of like it better than this one. I think it's probably because of the smell. And um, if I want a vitamin C, I'm probably not gonna get it in an oil form. Vitamin C is naturally water soluble and I like a lot of my vitamin C's that are in a water soluble formula, like a serum. I find that they penetrate better, so I'm just not going to my oils for, for my vitamin C. Where that switches is with the ordinary. You see, retinoids or vitamin A is oil soluble. And do you know what ordinary has? They literally have retinoids retinol, not, you know, Fido retinol bakuchiol in a stupid citrus formula that irritates your skin. They've actually got the actual retinol at different concentrations in squalane oil. It's water free. It's a stable solution. This is a great introduction to a retinoid and the ordinary does have different concentrations. They have a 1%, they have a half percent, they have a whole bunch of different ones. The 1% is one that I like personally. And this actually gives my skin a benefit as well as being wonderful and absorbable on the skin. This is a kind of drier oil as well because it has that little dry touch that it leaves behind, but it's also fragrance free. So it doesn't irritate the skin and it actually has the benefit of a retinoid. Like this do what it said it would do. Also, when you just compare the ordinary to a lot of these other products, like the price is a no brainer. This is under 10 bucks where a lot of these Biosense ones are definitely more fancy. You would definitely give those as like a gift for somebody who's trying to get into skincare. Whereas this is for a simple skin intellectual. This is for someone who wants to incorporate this into their routine. They want it to get to work. And I understand that these are for different buyers, like they're made for different markets, but holy shit, do I love this so much. Simple, effective, targeted, and makes my skin feel good. And now we start to talk more about moisturizers. And as you'll see, the three squalling products that I like the best are actually in moisturizer format. And this says something about the way that I like to use squalling, so keep that in mind. Because if you're looking for a simple oil, those have been presented and I just find them to be kind of boring. But if you're actually looking for the benefits of squalling in the skin, I find that squalling works wonderful in moisturizers. And the reason why is because remember, squalene is made naturally by our faces, but it's in combination with cholesterol, with triglycerides, with different fatty acids. And it's basically this whole mix that makes up our sebum, that oil in our skin. Squalane is more stable than squalene and it's been shown to have antioxidant properties. And just in a moisturizer where it's fluffy and protective to skin, I find that it's not overly oily. It doesn't make you overly greasy, but it still gives you a hydrated, healthy, fresh dew to your face. And that actually supports your skin and protects your skin from everything else that's going on outside or from your skin losing moisture because squalane as an oil helps to seal that in. This is the Radiance from Three Ships, and this is one of the coolest brands. All of their stuff is eco-friendly packaging. Their whole thing is luxury, but at affordable prices. And they specifically say that they're not going to charge the prices that luxury brands do. I love this little push pop top, and this is just one of the best products. Now, it's also got grape stem cells in here. It's got these different polyphenols. This is really overall excellent antioxidant support to skin, on top of a nice nourishing formula that actually hydrates and absorbs. This day cream says that it's for all skin types. I would say if you're super dry, you're gonna need something else on top of it. And if you are super oily, you might wanna avoid this in those oily areas. Now this does also have coconut in it. So if you are acne prone, you might not jive with this, whereas some people might be just fine. But this also has Camellia Japonica seed oil. So again, coming for Chanel, but at a much more affordable price. And then it's got Wild Rose and Vitamin E, so excellent as an antioxidant moisturizer that you can use under a sunscreen or at night. And that Vitamin E can even help with scars, with skin support, etc. I really love the brand as a whole, but I love the product overall so much more. And especially when you compare this price to the other two moisturizers I've got here, it's kind of a no-brainer. So for those of you babies on a budget, this is it. But for those of us who have a little bit more money, there are two that take the cake or should I say take the face. And one of these is shocking because this right here from Glow Recipe is not titled a squalling cream. This is titled the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream. But I feel like this is more of a squalling cream than a hyaluronic acid. This, yes, it has hyaluronic acid in it, but also what doesn't? This is more of a squalling based formula. And you know what? It is a great squalling based formula. This is also refillable, so it's super eco-friendly in that way. I just keep my little thing on because I love it. But as you can see, this is a lightweight, nice and fluffy, just divine plumping moisturizer. But again, they call it hyaluronic acid. I bet you that's just a buzzword for Glow Recipe. I get why they're doing it from a marketing perspective, but oh my God, this is one of the best fluffy cloud to watery gel 
squalling creams. This has my face scream. We want squalling cream. I love this so much. It smells divine. So do keep in mind that this product has a fragrance in it, whereas some of the other ones like from The Ordinary do not. But overall, this plumping cream, I tried to like avoid this. I was like, I'm not gonna spend my money on it. Like I saw all the hype around it. I was like, are we really going over Glow Recipe again? You know, they have that niacinamide dew drop and the avocado one that just disappointed me. So I was like, yeah. Glow recipe, come on, you can do better. And then they did better and they blew my mind and my wallet right open. This is so good. It is dewy, moisture, and plump. This is much more lightweight and like bouncy, whereas this is more rich and nourishing and radiant. I'd say that if you have more mature skin, maybe less acne prone, you will love this. And if you are someone who's not sensitive to fragrance and you want something more lightweight and just bouncy, then this is where you're gonna go. But you can actually see on both sides of my face, this is phenomenal. Glow recipe knocked it out of the park. They also did the refillable packaging. And again, I get that it's called a hyaluronic plump. I fuck off hyaluronic acid. <laughs> Literally, the magic in here is because of the squalane. In addition, they have niacinamide, they have willow herb, they also have eggplant in here, they have turmeric, basil, jojoba. That's probably also why I love it. I love this formula so much. This is a squalane product. In my book, I understand it has many other things, but this is great, but it is not the best. This is kind of a twist, a little turn. It was the foreshadowing at the end. As terrible as this was from Biosance, holy shit, their Squalene Omega Cream is to die for. This is my favorite Squalene product that I have tried or used or put on my face to date. And I will say it is expensive. I will say it is luxurious, but oh my God, is it worth every penny. This is such a beautiful, fluffy, light, absorbable, dazzling cream to the face. And I don't know why I waited this long to get this into my cart, shipped to my mailbox, and onto my freaking face. This has squalane, this has shea butter, this has ceramides in it. So it's actually supporting and nourishing the skin with the squalane and the ceramides. Those are basically what our skin produces naturally, but loses as we get older or as our skin gets damaged. It's literally giving it right back to us. It has jojoba esters. It's dermatologist and ophthalmologist tested, so eye doctor tested. And the best part is that it's fragrance-free. But this is the fragrance-free Biosol product that honestly, something like the phytoretinol, like they wish that they could be this, but they're not. This is so good. I know that it's expensive, but it is worth every drop and a little does go a long way. The shea butter in here makes it so silky and so buttery. And even on my oily areas, I can use this at night. I could use this during the day. I would probably use it on some of my drier days, but oh my God, do I love this. Also, the packaging is glass. All of Biosance's stuff is, but specifically this one, like they show you on Instagram how to reuse it. I have fallen in love with this. The second ingredient is squalene as well, so it arguably has a higher concentration of squalene than either of these other moisturizers. And even when you compare the moisturizer formula to some of the oil formulas or to some of the cleanser formulas, this it wins hands down. Like this is in a league of its own, okay? I am squalening and I am swerving into this squalene. <laughs> This takes the cake, and there are actually many other Biosense products that have squalane that I haven't tried, but I would like to know your thoughts. Do you have a squalane product in your routine? Do you like it? Do you dislike? How does your skin absorb it? And what other questions did this video not answer? What else do you want to know? I want to know if you found the hidden kitten inside of this video, because if you did, we might just pin you to the top of the comments, Mr. Balleen style. <laughs> We've also got memes at the end, and you, my friend, need to remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. And with this, might I say you definitely will. And always remember to reapply that SPF and be beautiful both inside and out. <sighs> Delightful. Do you see how much like happier I am when I have good skincare on my face? Whereas I'm like in physical pain when I try to use some of these products. Anyways, I love you beautiful butterflies and I cannot wait to see you in this next video where we talk all about squalane. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.